Once upon a time, baby Hope Scope used to travel to the big city bright lights of Idaho Falls, Idaho to go back to school shopping every year. And every year, my friends and family would want to go to Old Navy. I hated Old Navy. I hated the clothes. I hated the entire atmosphere, which caused me to just wander around bumping into things until everyone else was done shopping. I haven't shopped there in about 10 years. Mostly because thinking of shopping there just reminds me of the days that I used to dress like this. 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 And who put that in there? Due to popular request and recommendation, I have decided to try to look past the polyester cardigans, past the ribbed turtlenecks, past the mom jeans, and give the active wear a fair shot. I'm here to tell you if Old Navy is worth the buy, or if you're better off just saving your money and spending it at one of the sister companies, Athleta or Gap. Make sure you- <laughs> uh, did I scare you? Make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on your hope scopes, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. And everything I mentioned will of course be linked down in the description box. I'm gonna start with tops and bras. Leggings and shorts will start right about here. I'ma be honest, I struggled to find very many things I liked. Oh, hello! I like this thing. I struggled to find very many things that I liked in the top department. They were just like your basic cheap flowy tank tops with little sayings on them like Run in the sun. Love wins. I prefer simple designs that have a supportive compression fit. Someone on the design team decided to step up the style factor and create one crop top. This is the Go Dry Shelf Bra Crop Tank. I got this in black. They also have a royal blue and a bright purple. I got this and everything else in a size small. Everything does run pretty true to size. I'll have all of my measurements down below for reference. This is on sale for only $14. It's fitted, but I did find that it was a little bit loose in the waist area. It has a very, very, very light support shelf bra. I honestly don't love how it looks on me. I'd like something that perks the girls up just a little bit more, but I think this would look super cute on someone with a smaller chest. It's made from a light and breathable almost jersey material. Pretty much everything from Old Navy is made from primarily polyester with a little bit of spandex, unless I otherwise specify, which they call their Go Dry technology, which is supposed to be comfortable and moisture wicking. The only other top that really interested me was this Go Dry keyhole tank. I got it in heathered gray, but it comes in seven or eight different colors, and it was was 1994. When I pulled this out, the first thing I thought of was Gymshark. It just reminds me of the fabric that Gymshark makes a lot of their clothing out of, especially the Nikki Black at her tops. It's a cooling, stretchy jersey material. It's very flattering because it is fitted and then it has the nice keyhole detail at the nape of the neck and then it has the little Old Navy logo at the hem. That's another thing I really like about Old Navy. The branding is very subtle. Next, I got a light, a medium, and a high support bra. The light support bra that I got is the Go Dry Strappy Cami. This is in gray malang and it also comes in navy blue. And this was only $14.94. It's semi-fitted. It has the super cute crisscross back detailing and a v-neck. It has no padding whatsoever. I would honestly say this is more of a bralette than a bra. That's how light support and low impact it is. But it is super cute and a super good price. The medium support bra that I got is the Go Dry Razor Back. I got it in the pattern White Palm. There's also a black one and then everything else has like words and sayings written all over it. I thought this one was fun and summery but it's still pretty neutral. It was only $17. The thing with this bra is is it is only a medium support up to a C cup. It's light support for anything above that. It has the razor back and the elastic hem and no padding. It fits very similar to a Nike Pro bra, but I don't think the material is quite as good of quality, but it is half the price. Finally, I got the Go Dry High Support Crossback. This was $26.94, and this one comes in black as well as a couple of different patterns. Kind of the same thing as the medium support. It's a high support, but only up to a C cup after that you get bumped down to medium support. It has very light padding, which kind of surprised me, and no wiring. It's hard to find maximum support bras that are actually cute, but I really like this one. I think the thick straps that cross in the back is very cute. And then it has the contouring that happens under the boobs, which I thought was gonna be dumb and tacky, but it's actually really subtle once the bra is on. This is a good bra. I would say it's more medium support than high. Let's move on to some leggings and shorts.
I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that these bottoms are Athleta or Lululemon type quality, cause they're not. But I am very impressed by them. Old Navy prices their products similar to that of like Forever 21, but the difference is Old Navy's not fast fashion. They still take the time to create quality products at an affordable price, rather than just pumping out whatever style is on trend that week. The first pair of leggings I got are the Go Dry Mid Rise Mesh Panel Compression. I got these in a size small top and they were $29.94. They're a 7 8 cut. They have this really cute flattering mesh panel detailing on the legs. They have good quality flat lock seams all the way around. The mesh is really good quality also. It's very flexible and moves with your body. With a lot of cheaper mesh leggings, the mesh tends to be really stiff. They have a decent amount of compression and tummy control, which is really nice. Fabric reminds me of like a thinner, less soft Lululemon luxury material. The quality of this legging overall is similar to something you would find at like Victoria's Secret. The next pair that I got are the high rise go dry compressions. They're just your basic pair of black leggings in a size small and they were also $29.94. They're the same fabric as the go dries that I just showed. I love how high-waisted these are. They're so flattering. They have a great length. If you're looking for an awesome pair of basic black leggings, these are your guys. I also got the Go Dry Cool Mid Rise Lattice Leggings. These are in the color Fleet Week and they were $22.94. These ones are actually a cotton polyester spandex material. So I was hoping they would be similar to a Lululemon Luon Wonder Under, but they're a little bit stiff and not nearly as soft, which leads me to believe they won't be very breathable. I feel like these aren't nearly as flattering as the Go Dry Compressions for some reason. I really do like the lattice detailing on the cap though. I think that is super cute. Still a really good pair of leggings for under $25. I was not being dramatic when I told you that I found the ultimate pair of high-waisted pocket shorts that go dry high-waisted pocket shorts. These are in the color Lost at Sea Navy. They come in a bunch of different colors and patterns though. They were $19 94. That's it. They're very high-waisted, which is amazing. They are just long enough though that you don't have to worry about any cheek poppy outy action happening at all. They have the triangle shaped pockets, which is so flattering. It makes your booty pop and your waist look tiny. These shorts have the little logo on the lower back. 11 out of 10 recommend these. The last thing I got are the Go Dry Woven All Day Perform. These names are killing me. That's the one complaint I have about Old Navy, is they're not very good at naming their products and their website isn't the easiest to maneuver. These shorts are in the color Winter Wine. Some colors in this are on sale for $17, by the way. This particular pair was $26.94. They're a mid-rise, they have an elastic drawstring waist, they're semi-fitted. These are an amazing dupe for the Lululemon Hottie Hot shorts, which are usually like $60 or $70. That's all I got for you today. This is legit how Leah likes to be held, like a freaking human toddler. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna start doing more like follow-up reviews over on my Instagram, just updating you guys on how certain brands hold up after wearing and washing a few times. So make sure you give me a follow over there. Where are you going? Okay, bye. <laughs> and if you still just can't get enough of Leo and I, you can follow our Snapchat where we just post our daily shenanigans. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment about what you thought. And we will see you guys in the next one. Can you say bye? Say bye.